Just in case you missed our last episode, we dove the famous Charlie Brown wreck, checked out Taste of Cultures, a Stacia culinary celebration. We checked out of customs and said goodbye to our friends and the little island of Stacia. We then sailed to Saba to begin exploring the rocky island. We hope you enjoy this episode as we hike to the top of Mount Scenery and get ready to set sail to Puerto Rico. Hi, we're Brooke and Gary. A year ago, we traded the American dream for our dream. Welcome to One Life. Yeah, it was super windy last night and we didn't get much sleep. Our mooring bell ball kept hitting the side of the hole. But it is around 7.30 a.m. and we went to check our line this morning and it was just about chafed through. So luckily, One Life held onto that mooring ball until we were able to get up this morning and deal with it or else we would have had a real interesting night. But anyway, Gary's up there fixing it now. The conditions in the mooring field were some of the worst we have ever seen. Open exposure to the wind and swell, mixed with reversing currents, makes for a real tough mooring situation. We woke up here in Seba today. For the first time in about nine weeks, we wake up somewhere other than Stacia. We're pretty, uh, pretty bummed about that. Stacia was an amazing experience. We met so many amazing people. Everyone was so friendly and took us in and we felt like family there. After just a week or two, we were family. It was the friendliest place we've ever been. And yeah, it was really tough to sail away and watch the quill settle into the horizon, but we've got to keep moving. We've got a lot of places to go and see, and we know that Stacia will always have us back. So hopefully one day we will head back there. <laughs> I'm crying in the background. It was really a special place. So we woke up here in Saba this morning and Brooke went on deck to check our mooring lines. And of course our mooring line was just about chafed through. So we have a backup on too, but the primary line, the one that was taking the load was pretty much gone. So just spent my morning in the rough water trying to uh, get a new mooring line and get some better chafe protection in there. So hopefully that holds a little better. We're gonna keep an eye on it for a little bit. And then I think we're gonna do our hike tomorrow before we set sail for Puerto Rico. Since the conditions outside were not going to allow us to get to shore today, we decided to go ahead and get all of our passage prep done. Brooke tackled the paperwork while I inspected our engine and generator fluids. I make a habit of giving all of our systems a quick check before heading out on a long offshore sail. How's everything look? Good. Just checking all of our coolant levels and oil levels so we don't have any unexpected issues offshore. Good morning. Today is our last day in Seba. So we're gonna to go to hike the top of the mountain. It's called Mount Scenery. And hopefully it's clear when we get up there. It's usually pretty cloudy and rainy. Bo and Brandy met up with us at the dock and we started our trek to find the trailhead. I decided to stick my thumb out to see if we could catch a ride. The next truck that drove by scooped us up. We'll go up as far as you're gonna take us. Perfect, thank you. We hopped in and we were on our way. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
I am not sure how, but we always end up meeting the nicest people. Mount Scenery is one of Seba's biggest tourist attractions, and we were excited to get started. We've been walking for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, now we're at the start of the trail. There are several trails you need to take before getting to the actual trail to Mount Scenery. One of the first trails we came to was Bud's Mountain Trail, which did not disappoint. on the trail and it looks just like a big jungly rainforest in here so pretty cool and hopefully we make it to the top and after the rainforest we're in a pasture it's crazy <laughs> Seems like the trails leading up to Mount Scenery could go on forever. Whew, I think we are almost to the top. We've got lots of sunlight peeking out at us, so I have a feeling we are almost there. And by the top, I mean just the top to trail number one. Bud's Mountain Trail is about a mile climb, but totally worth it to get to the highest point in all of the Netherlands. Signed in, Gary and Brick on SV1 Life. So we came from here and we did Bud's Mountain Trail and we just connected here to Mount Scenery Trail. So we'll take that up to the top. Looks like there's two lookouts, three lookouts. And then we'll probably take all of Mount Scenery Trail back to Windward Side. <laughs> so we've got into the part that's steps and they're big steps and they're straight up definitely a bit of a workout Whew. go 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 worth it <laughs> I think so. Looks like the top. It's getting colder. It's very cold. I forgot to bring a jacket like I was told to. <laughs> what are you doing all the way up here? You lost? <laughs> well, I guess we're not there yet. <laughs> More steps. The Mount Scenery Trail ascends to the highest point in Seba and is in fact the highest point in all of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The trail is said to have 1,064 steps on the way to the top. Mount Scenery is the peak of a potentially active stratovolcano and has an elevation of 2,910 feet. The climate zones gradually change as the elevation increases eventually reaching a cloud forest. The hike to the top is a serious workout, and as always, we had high hopes that the views would be worth it. Well, we made it to the top, and we can't see anything yet because we're in the clouds, but hopefully the clouds will pass by and we'll get a quick glimpse of the view. As has happened so many times before to us, we reached the top and could see nothing. Undeterred, we decided to have some snacks and wait it out. Save 
after soaking in the views and snapping some pictures at the summit, we decided it was time to start back down the trail. We could have sat up there all day and absorbed the spectacular views, but we wanted to see more of Seba in just the one day we had. All right, so we took the trail down to the windward side, so we're gonna go explore around town and see what we can find over here. Our first stop was the dive shop. Although we didn't have time to scuba, we still wanted to stop by and say hello. And the next thing we knew, we were sipping on rum. Now, Seba Spice, if you'd like to try, is a rum liqueur that's been made on Seba for decades. Oh. And you want a sample? Ha, of course we do. We couldn't stay long because we wanted to check out the rest of town. I guess it's down off a nice cool bit. Ooh, it's it's time for beer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> More drinks sounded lovely, but with our upcoming sale, we didn't want to make the same mistake we made the night before leaving Stacia. Cause sailing offshore, hungover, is zero fun. We wandered our way back toward the bottom and decided on Chinese food for dinner. I'd say our Chinese takeout dinner was well-deserved after walking over 10 miles. Seba, you are a beautiful little island and we hope to come back one day. But for now, it's time to say see you later and get back to One Life. We were quite bums. We didn't have a chance to scuba dive here. So before leaving for Puerto Rico, we had to jump in for a quick look around. Not too far from One Life, we discovered a coral nursery. This nursery began in 2015 and is used to help create and grow new reefs. The coral fragments are hung on these PVC trees and are cleaned and maintained until able to be transplanted back onto the reefs. This is such a great way to give back to mother nature. Thanks Seba, you guys rock. After snorkeling around for a bit, it started to rain, and that was our cue it was time to get moving. After a bit more passage prep, we had to get on our way. We had a 240 mile trip ahead of us. Gary had to get back in the water to grab our chafe protection he added to the mooring. And then we had to do this. Say our goodbyes to Bo and Brandy. We pulled our final mooring line and we were on our way. 
It was time. Time for us to split ways with Bo and Brandy after spending months together. Time to fly back to Florida. Time to sell our house and time to see our family and friends that we have missed so much. The sale to Puerto Rico is a bittersweet one for us. We are excited to see everyone, but sad to be leaving one life for a short period of time. There are a few things we didn't think about before we started this journey. First, being away from family and friends is much harder than we had ever imagined. Second, the friendships we formed along our travels are some of the strongest bonds we have ever known. We're just coming with you to Puerto Rico on our DE. Bye, love you. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to sharing our next one with you as we sail to Puerto Rico and get one life prepped for a couple months without us. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. A big thank you to all of our One Life crew. We have the most kick-ass friends and family. To score some SV1 Life gear for yourself, head over to svonelife.com.